All right, well, welcome back. It is Thursday at lunchtime. Joey and I just had lunch at the cafeteria. It's very, well, not the cafe, there's like a cafe. It's pretty, it's pretty tasty. Joey had pizza. I had some chicken and salad, so we're, we're enjoying that. Uh, so we were hoping for a very uneventful night and that's not what happened. Uh, we didn't know. E Ethan has a mind of its own, <laughs> yeah. his own, really. Yeah, Ethan, Ethan's kind of doing his own, own thing here. Go figure. Uh, so, uh, in the night, uh, so what, they, what they've been really worried about is his intracranial pressure and controlling his intracranial pressure, making sure it doesn't get too high and why is it getting high? So, uh, overnight they noticed that it was increasing, uh, to levels that they didn't like. So they rushed him down for CT scan number five and that showed um that he had some uh additional fluid additional fluid like built up in his ventricles so that, that wasn't draining naturally yeah so there's you have four ventricles in your brain and those are full of fluid and they're supposed to drain naturally and ethan's fluids were building up and not naturally you know draining out into the rest of his body so um what they do is they put a vent which is just another like drain into your brain to you know manually get that fluid out of your brain so that pressure doesn't build up so that's a, a just a bedside procedure putting yeah. that vent into his brain so now he yeah. has two drains from his brain um right side left side yeah brain drains and uh so they put that in then they took him back down for a ct scan number six to just make sure everything was good with the vent placement and they were happy with all that uh, so he's still kind of in the process of getting stable. Uh, we are long ways out of the woods from just recovering from, you know, the basic procedures. His, the, his, uh, the neurologist said his, the pressure still hasn't peaked in his brain. So we're still on the up. The, the swelling yeah. hasn't peaked, which, yeah. which is the pressure. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, we're looking over the next 72 hours to see that peak. Um, so they're monitoring it very carefully, trying to manipulate the drugs, you know, to predict and counteract that pressure. And it's a very delicate cycle because the more drugs you're on, the more side effects you have, and then you're managing side effects and, and all sorts of stuff. So when we came back this morning, he had even more monitors. So whatever you were imagining yesterday times 10, now you can, you know, double that. Uh, we call it his Christmas tree, his IV, you know, Christmas tree. And I think he has 11, uh, what are they called? Drip bags, pumps. Pumps, pumps. Yeah. Uh, hooked up. So he also has his ventilator. He has his brain drain station. He has his EEG monitoring his brain waves, his EKG monitoring his heart rate. Uh, um, he's got, you know, multiple catheters. You name it, this poor boy. I mean, it's it's almost, it is heartbreaking to, yeah. to see uh, it. We, we have yet to take a picture of him sitting there. We've yet to show anyone what he looks like because I don't want to remember this. It's remember the best and we're going to forget this. Um, yeah. he, he's pretty swollen so it doesn't even really look like him. Yesterday when I came in I was, I was looking at him and it's like I know this is my child but it doesn't even look like Ethan. Uh, they said that's normal uh, that the swelling you know increases and typically peaks on day three so you know, for the first surgery, that would be for today, and for the second surgery, that would be for tomorrow. So, at this point, he is much more stable than he was yesterday at this time, and certainly much more stable than he was, you know, during the middle of the night and like at 4 a.m. Uh, so, hopefully, we are now to a point where he can just rest. Um, he's pretty sedated uh, to, you know, relax the brain uh, to counteract any swelling. So that's that's where we are now. Hopefully, when we go back upstairs, that's where he yeah. still is because it's been a fairly quiet morning, uh, yeah. and uh, they had their they have their family meetings where there are people, you know, on the entire floor that all get on the same page, and you know it's kind of nerve wracking because you've got 15 people out there talking, and it's a little bit. Yeah. So we know that having lots of people in your room is bad. So when people start coming into the room, I get really anxious. Even if it's just like shift change and there's, you know, a couple people, it's like, yeah. 
why are you in the room? What are you talking about? But then when nobody's in the room, I also get anxious because it's like, why is anybody in here monitoring? There's like 800 monitors, so somebody should be looking at all this stuff. And they're, and they're monitoring it from all places in the hospital. Yeah. You know, neurology is looking at it upstairs, and there, there are four different monitors on the floor that they're watching. And yeah, so, it's, so like, it's, it's all hooked up to the yeah. central system, so they, they can monitor it from, you know, their living room if they wanted to. Yeah. Uh, but it's, <laughs> it's like... Oh. It's, it's a lot. So uh, yesterday... Uh, my sister-in-law, Bonnie, uh, texted me and said, hey, people keep contacting me and, and wanting to know how they can help. And so uh, Bonnie had the idea of, of setting up a GoFundMe for Ethan. And uh, I'm going to do my best. Um, we, didn't, we didn't really think about it. We said, yeah, sure, I don't want to deal with it. But if that's what you want to do. Um, we're, we're, we're going into brain surgery number two. <laughs> yeah, it's like not, not even on our page. Uh, and then we looked at it last night. Holy and, cow, you guys. And, and the support is just overwhelming. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're good at budgeting. and We like personal finance. And, and we, we were going to be fine. Uh, and we don't know what's coming. Uh, but your guys' overwhelming support is just going to give us so many options. And not, not worrying about, you know, the cost of lunch, the cost of gas, the cost of breakfast, the cost of coffee, the cost of parking. Yeah, it's, okay. it's just it's insane and uh you know being being in surgery with ethan uh is overwhelming but it's equally overwhelming in in the amount of love in, and, in a good way and, yeah in a good way that that we've felt from all of you from past from present and uh people we don't even know that know our family or heard our story and it's it's incredible yeah so Thank you from and, the bottom of our hearts and from all of our family that's uh, truly generous this. and an immense blessing to us in this time. So we're, we're almost at seven minutes, so I think we better cut this off. Yeah. Okay. So we will. Till next time. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye.